no button. Oh, you would think I would know that. <clears throat> this is my son, Cameron. He attends Leander High School, and um, I'm going to explain to you in the book that he received. But Mr. McKay, I pray you are a man of your word. Last week, I asked my children if I could check the books that they've picked up from the school. My son picked up this brand new book from the shelves in class, Lawn Boy. He was under the impression it was about a kid that ends up with a gig mowing the grass at Disneyland. I'd like to share a few quotes with you. This first one, just turn it around. On page 19, not that it really matters in fourth grade at a church youth group meeting out in the bushes, I touched Doug Goebel's dick and he touched mine. In fact, there, were, there was even some mouths involved. Next one, page 91. What if I told you I touched another guy's dick? What if I told you I sucked it? I was 10 years old, but it's true. I put Doug Goebel's dick in my mouth. I was in fourth grade. It was no big deal. He sucked mine too. And you know what? It wasn't terrible. Page 174. I don't know if I quoted, if I made a sign for this one. Yeah, I did. Um, he talked about old times at the church, but never mentioned our penises or the fact that he never said 10 words to to me after our little foray in the bushes. Not a single reference to holding or tugging or sucking dicks. All I could think about while he was chatting me up was his little salamander between my fourth grade fingers rapidly engorging with blood. Page 230, I didn't make a sign for this. Why won't you admit we sucked each other's dicks? We shared a Hershey's bar, then you showed me your dick. The next thing I know it's in my mouth, we sucked each other's dick, and you're pretending it didn't happen. What sort of diversity are you intending to teach my child with material like this? In addition, I'll share with you the exceptional quality of vocabulary. I stopped counting on page 66 after 44 fucks and 41 shits. The depravity of the content on the shelves in our schools cannot be mitigated with policy EF. At this point, I need you to know that according to policy FFH, hold this one please, Local sexual harassment is defined as unwanted sexual advances, sexually motivated verbal, nonverbal conduct, or other conduct or communication of a sexual nature when the conduct is so severe, persistent, or pervasive that it affects a student's ability to participate in or benefit from an educational program or activity or otherwise adversely affects a student's educational opportunities or creates an intimidating, hostile educational environment. What sort of educational environment do you think the plethora of sexually graphic books selections create for my children or for any child for that matter? Um, I won't go into my fourth grade daughter, but we, we don't, this is not a thing for fourth graders. Who normalizes sex acts between fourth graders? I'll tell you who, pedophiles. So it's fortuitous that you invited the Leander Police Department to visit tonight so that we can talk about